Hi everyone, it's Shannon. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much to Bright Tech for sponsoring today's video. So I was so super excited when Bright Tech reached out to me because they have some amazing lighting. Today I'm going to be featuring some of their string lights on the project I'm going to be working on today. But you can check the link that I'll have in the description box below and check out their online store because they also carry beautiful floor lamps, table lamps, and magnifier lamps. I featured one of those in one of my previous videos. So I will link that down in the description box below too because those are amazing for crafters if you are any kind of DIYer, they come in so handy. But today I'm finally going to make that dream come true of adding some beautiful string lights to our freshly remodeled front porch and back porch. So let's go ahead and get started. First I wanted to give you an up close look at our front and back porches that we just finished remodeling so you could see it before I added the lights and they are so beautiful we couldn't be happier with them we have really enjoyed our new outdoor spaces however I knew the addition of some new ambient lighting would be the perfect finishing touch. So I headed over to Bright Tech's online store and found that they had so many different options of string lights to choose from. And they have globe style, they have the popular Edison style bulbs, they even have white cord string lights, as well as the blacks you can find an item that matches your home's decor. We ended up deciding on the Ambiance Pro Solar Lights, which were both waterproof and LED as well as solar. So this was exactly what we were looking for for our front porch and back porch spaces. Everything came very nicely packaged and the string lights were wound together nicely, which will make it easier for installation later on. And I also really appreciated the well-written instructions as well as the nice photo instructions that were included with it too. After reading through the directions and unpackaging everything, I was excited to get to work installing the lights. And I really liked that you could disconnect the string of lights from the solar panel. So you can position your panel where you need it first and then later on reconnect your lights when it's time to install those. These lights came with two different options for installing the solar panel. I'm using the clip that came with it here, but it also came with a ground stake so you can use whatever works best for you and your home. Then it was time to work on getting the lights hung and I just used some very inexpensive cup hooks and also a drill with a very small drill bit on the end so that I could drill pilot holes into the underside of the porch before just hand screwing those cup hooks into my pilot holes. I ended up installing eight cup hooks underneath our porch and I also used two sets of string lights from Bright Tech for this. They were 27 feet long so I hope that helps kind of gauge how many you would need for your space based on the size of our porch. You may notice here that I'm installing the cup hooks higher in the back of the porch versus in the front and that's so the front door can open without hitting the lights and also so that they will cascade from the back down to the front of the porch where the other cup hooks are so it'll just give it a pretty effect that way. Once all of the hooks were installed I reconnected my string lights to the solar panel and then just hung one of the lights up and tucked in all of the excess cording so that it was hidden and also so it was secured. Then it was finally time to hang the actual lights which was really fun to do and the best method I found for this was to just rest your cords over those hooks, get them all up there and then go back and make adjustments. Pull and tug here and there until you have them the length that you want or the height that you want and then once you have them the way you want them then you can go back and more securely make sure that they stay on those hooks and I also installed the second set of lights on the other side of the door so that that solar panel had plenty of light as well 
And then I did the same thing. I just hung the lights from the hooks and pulled and tugged until they were in place and I was happy with the look. And here is a look at the porch with the lights completely installed. And I was so excited to see what it would look like at night when the lights had actually got a chance to charge up and turn on. I was so incredibly excited for these lights to finally flip on and reveal the gorgeous glow. It's almost like a soft candlelight glow that these lights admit and it's so perfect. It's so beautiful and relaxing and I'm so excited to enjoy some quiet, relaxing time on our front porch underneath the glow of these beautiful, beautiful string lights. Then it was time to move to the back porch and our new potting station actually doubled as a nice workspace for installing these lights and holding all of the tools that I needed to repeat the process. I wanted to show you the size of these light bulbs too. They're a pretty good size and they also have this nice hole at the top which made it nice for hanging and securing the lights. So like I said, I just repeated the process in the back porch as I did in the front porch and I just used the clip method to secure my solar panel in place. And then I went in with my drill to create pilot holes, installed all of my cup hooks, and then used the same process of draping my lights before securing them when I have them looking nice and where I want them. This was actually a really simple and easy project and it went pretty quickly too. And here is a look at the back porch with the lights installed. I only used one set of Bright Tech lights back here because the space was much smaller. But it was definitely plenty to fill the space and looks really nice as well. The back porch lights did not disappoint either. They are just as beautiful and I love that now when we get home, our back porch is softly lit and it's warm and welcoming. Thank you so much again to Bright Tech for sponsoring today's video. I'm super excited because they are also offering you all a exclusive discount code, which I will link down in the description box below. So make sure to check that out, especially if you're interested in the lights that I featured in today's tutorial. I hope that this video inspired you. Make sure to take a second and give it a thumbs up for me. You can also stick around and subscribe and join me every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for new DIYs, tutorials, and new inspiration. Thanks so much again, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.